out to him now. Equals their best quarter of the year, Fremantle. So good signs for them. Six goals in it. Six goals, one in fact. To the Bombers, five goals, two. Hill back in the side. Here's Mundy. Kick low and Aldridge worked the ball to oh! centre half forward. Couldn't take the mark on that occasion. Neil. Griffin pokes it out of the pack, comes in the direction of Pavlich, won't reach him. Bombers with some numbers here. Hooker, short ball, finds Hill. Bad kick by Hill, wasn't it? You saw what he had to pick out. And Just look like a player that hasn't played a lot of AFL football, which is exactly the case, and picking up the pace. But he, he wanted to play on, but it wasn't the right time to do it. If he had looked up, there wasn't an option for him, so he's forced to kick. Well, he last played Dars at this level in round two. The emergencies for rounds nine and ten, but last played in round two, so you're spot on. Just hasn't played much at this intensity. Here's Main. I thought he could have probably gone back there, looked in for Pavlich, and the Bombers had it covered left, right, and centre. And now Barlow is caught in a cage. Just a little too Pav Kovlich, uh, conscious there was uh, Main. I, he was in kicking distance. He's a good kick. Probably worth having a ping, I think, from that part of the ground. Mzungu, Clancy Pierce in there. De Boer has been hard at it here today. There's Hill, just working off half back, kicks it to a Cramery contest, two on one, but it leaves some free. Mon Fries sees Watson out the corner of the eye in a foot race with Maine. The strength of Watson telling out there momentarily, and the recovery of Maine to Subin was good. Well done by Maine. He had to cover for Crowley then. Watson worked really hard on the transition, and Maine went with him and covered for Ryan Crowley. That's fantastic stuff. Pavlich, the intended target. Hooker did well to smash it. Maybe a knock of the arms. Picked up in the end by Stanton. and Centering ball finds Hibbard. Back into the side. Hibbard this week. Great to see him back. Cramery. Heppel. Mzungu, good tackle. Couldn't pin the arms, though. Cramery able to run and hoist the ball long and deep. Reamers at the back. Tries to nudge Johnson under the ball. De Olio's got it. Can he control it? Yes, he can. Bombers in front. Really nice hands there from Cramery on centre wing. The overlap run. Really good build-up through the centre of the ground. They got the ball out the back and De Olio the beneficiary. Quite a few red and black fans have made the journey over to Patterson Stadium yeah. here in Perth. Good crowd. They great, don't they? Plenty of them. Great to see them making the journey over. Well, great work by Dyson Heffel there. He was able to avoid that tackle from Mzungu. was able to free Cramery up through the middle of the ground. Long kick forward and Free, I'll be disappointed with that. They love to stop that transition through the middle, and the broken tackle from Heppel sets that up. You. Barlow with the clearance. The feet of Pavlich. Lost sight of the ball. De Olio pressuring him. Now towards Neil. Hibbard kept it rolling towards the boundary line. He's desperate to get it over that line, and an accidental kick by Lower. Marks there. Now on the full. Play on, he's inside, play on! So Myers told to play on because he'd come back inside the field of play, which is the correct call. De Boer has been really impressive in this game, I reckon. Hawking, Mundy to Griffin, fiddled and faddled and fumbled below his knees and eventually couldn't do anything. Howlett tries to burst out of the pack without success. Ball's Thank you. Thanks, Ben. So we've seen a loose player back at all in the game so far. Both coaches are happy to play man-on-man. Uh, -man. You're getting a good image there. So there's space inside 50 for both sides, which has accounted for the dozen goals that we've already seen in this game. But around the contest, it is red hot. McPhee with the really strong, don't argue, backed himself in the strength Fire stakes there. Here's Stanton. Stanton wide to Hill. Hill's got plenty of time and space in front of him. Looking over the head here of Cramery. Did well, Silvani. McFarlane's in trouble. Got the short back and sides. Neil McFarlane is absolutely 
laid out behind the plane. He's hardly moved. There he is, lying face on the deck. In the meantime, McPhee to Pavlic. Still hasn't moved. McFarlane. There's real courage from him going back. 55 metres kick is good. Zach Clark should have gobbled that up. Got it on the hop. Gave it off to the man Barlow. The magnet. And ball out wide. And McFarlane, he's got to his feet. And Gee, he must have either been knocked out or Here it's it is. a rather quick recovery. Great news. Yeah, just oh, the point the of the shoulder and the chin, which is a hot spot for a boxer to get wobbly legs. And he stayed down for a while, but he's back. Let's uh, hope there was an issue there, Dars. Otherwise, you'd probably stay down a bit too long. Flat <laughs> on his face. <laughs> I don't think. She's you're a harsh man, Brian. Given the force of contact uh, <laughs> bristle that we are questioning him all there. All right, all right, all right. You win. I'm, Recent, cool. I'm reasonably sore. I saw his chin go into the shoulder there, BT. Oh, come on, snag. Here's Melksham on the Jetta. Back inside to Melksham. Harden up a little, Richo. <laughs> Hurley over the top, Jetta. Looking for the clever tap to Ryder. Couldn't get him. Here he is, McFarlane. He's recovered remarkably. Handball out the back door to Dolio. No. McPhee cuts it off. Pavlic. The game's record holder at this club. Jakey Carlisle did nice. Inside ball to Hooker. Hooker gives it off. An opportunity for Hibbard. Hibbard inside 50 without direction. Johnson dropped the mark that he probably should have taken. He initiated that contact into Hurley then. Don't tell me that's a 50. Uh, common sense there. and Simon Meredith doing a nice job. Just got a feeling that it's just starting to tighten up a little bit this game, but they're away now. Crowley sees Maine. There he is. Maine's got an opportunity for this man here, Crichton. Crichton on the left, centering ball. The boy from Tasmania who's got the mullet going, the beard. We believe he's one of the worst dressers of all time at Fremantle to go with that. It's, uh, it's a long way. And there's Dad. From Tassie <laughs> over to Perth. And that is a special hairdo. There's a few of those down in Tassie still. Clancy Pierce. Howlett. Melksham to recover this before the boundary. He does. Johnson corralling handball longish to hooker. Jed has got some wheels, gathers it on the logo. Here he goes, couple of bounces. Anyone going to try and get him? Bangs it long. Good ball. Cramer, he was being held, was he? Interfered with by McVee, said the umpire. Very no. smart there by Stuart Cramery with the ball coming back over you. his shoulder like that. All you have to do is draw the contact the from the You're almost guaranteed to get a free kick every time. Yeah, well said, uh, Liam Richo and I jumping out of our chair, exactly, and Simon Meredith explaining the free kick. He did well, did Richo, just took the space, as Lingy said, and, and was able to draw a free kick. That's why he's such a natural forward, this guy. That was just great forward play. He knew that if he stepped forward into McPhee and drew the contact, the umpire would probably play the free, just smart forward line tactic. Cramery will kick a certain goal. He does. The Bombers buy a goal. So the Bomber fans a little excited about what they're seeing. And so are we here, really enjoying the quality of this game. 13 goals already scored. And we keep talking about the intensity of the contest. Adam McPhee still arguing with Simon Meredith. Look, uh, he was pretty stiff, I guess, but just smart play by yeah. Cramery. Let's have a listen to the umpire's explanation here, boys. <laughs> of this last three. Making footy, arms around him. But he's looking at the footy. You're not, contest. you're not even watching the football. There you go. There's the explanation, which I think is fair from umpire Simon Meredith. You're not I'm watching the footy. Fight. Crichton, yep. out of the middle. Oh. Carlisle. Hooker and Carlisle That's combining. Fun. Bomber's got some numbers wide. Gee, he was attacked Hibbard then. Hocking was confronted as well. Barlow, really sharp hands to Neil, who looks great. 
Kick goes into Broughton, probably should have marked that. Get the Dukes out in front. Stop trying to mark it on the bread basket. Classic Dustin Fletcher finding a way to get fist to ball when others aren't able to. Oh, Long arms. Oh, you're arms. right. Does. Yep. Gee, I... Here's Clancy anyway. Opportunity. Hibbard. Just on the edge of the centre square. Good kick. Gives a great opportunity for Cramery. Plenty of space. No one forward of the ball. In comes Heppel. Open goal square. Needs it to roll on. Doesn't want the backspin. Got it. Unbelievably measured kick. Yeah, brilliantly called BT and brilliantly summed up by Dyson Heppel. He actually kicked it, hoping for the end on end, and kicked it in a way that gave him a better chance of it happening. You punch it lower, you don't give it the air almost like the 9-iron in, uh, in golf where it sucks back. Clever kick. Let's have another look at this goal from behind the goals and he summed it up well he's a smart player just drew it back beautifully bounced it into the square but he's having a pretty solid night Dyson Hebel not kicking the ball a lot had a lot of handballs but getting his hands on it here he is again never quite sure about the bounce on a firm track are you there's Hallett got hands well. trying to sell a little bit of foot candy there Jetta went through without success Hocking, Howlett, all combining. Barlow, there he is, the boy out of Assumption College. Sharp hands, Carlisle. Nice grab. Sees Hardingham, short kick, Monfries. Monfries kick interrupted. And Mundy. Barlow is just getting a stack of the ball. I think has the most possessions of anyone on the ground here at the moment. Michael Barlow. The line Essen, and out of bounds. Essendon are trying to get Heath Hocking to Michael Barlow, BT. Not working that well at the moment. Barlow just racking up the touches and, and really getting Fremantle's game going. They both head to the bench together, so that's a clear matchup, that one. Nice work, Lingy. DeBoer. Remus tries to charge out of with Mundy and the tackling tonight by Fremantle. Well, by both no sides problem, as well has been fantastic. Yeah, we've been all over the pressure, haven't we, around the contest. Yep. And you mentioned Michael Barlow, the leading possession gatherer on the field. He's had 15 disposals. Dyson Heppel the most for the Bombers with 10. Clancy Pierce, long ball to Pavlich, slightly under it. Melksham now missed the overrun of it. Clark's got to go hard at it. Does, slipped over in the meantime. Well, he slipped and got under the ball and resulted in the high Can't tackle. Can't pay advantage out of zone call. See that? Great call by the umpire. When an umpire that's not in the zone, behind the play calls the free kick, cannot play advantage. Perfectly umpire. Look at this man. The magnet has come off the bench and got yet another one. And he just is, keeps on getting it. And that has got to annoy you if you're Heath Hocking. Straight off the bench, another touch, and he's sitting there, can't do anything about it. Well, he had less of a rest than Hocking. I mean, Hocking was ready to come back on, but in the end could do nothing. He's just sailing it. Howlett and Myers combining here off half-back. Myers looking to go down the middle, had to be neat with the ball to Olio. Little chipper to Ryder, who's been quite ish in this game, hasn't he? There he is again, Barlow. I'm telling you, he is the closest thing I've seen to a football ball magnet, Das. Johnson. Unbelievable player. Yep. Main. He wants Broughton to come at him. He doesn't, so he sees Clark. Clark gathers, goes long, and that's a booming kick to get Fremantle back in the hunt here. Down by just a goal. Well, that was great play by the Dockers. They didn't blaze away. Come back in board, and Clark presented through that middle corridor. He could have gone inside 50 earlier. They didn't. They centred the football, and Clark had enough time and space in the middle of the ground to kick a long goal still had to kick that ball 55 meters to get it to the goal line and fantastic ever kicked a couple of goals he's looked good he said nine touches kick two he's a super athlete this man Zach Clark and that's something you don't see too often from 
Olympics. Six foot seven Ruckman kicking long running goals from outside 50. He's had a couple and nine possessions. Good start from Zach Clark with no Aaron Sandlands. Super important. Das reminding himself of himself. Yeah. Melksham <clears throat> inside the hill. Look at the pickup from the big man off the laces. Got it to Stanton. He's the left footer, remember Hocking. He just goes bang. Good looking ball. Just offline. Got the inside of the post. Heath Hocking. Ibbotson to return the ball. So still a heap of time left in this first half, ten, just under 10 minutes. The goal-kicking frenzy has slowed somewhat, just collectively four goals kicked in this 15 minutes of play. This one asked Slingy down there, the Essendon forward line. We haven't seen Hill and Ryder inside 50 a lot tonight. Lingy, they just look to be going a little bit smaller down there tonight. I think they are, Rich. I think you've got Hurley and, uh, and Cramery obviously playing the key roles there. But I think they want the little fellas on the deck. Like, like blokes like Jed are just buzzing around. But then if the ball hits the deck, they can bring the pressure and try and trap the footy in there. This kid here is just playing great footy. Mature footy for a young guy is Jake Carlisle. Yeah, I really, I really rate him. Uh, Game number 20 for Jake Carlisle, yeah. and I've spoken a lot. We've had a lot of Essendon games on Saturday Night Footy. I think they're developing a very, very complete list, and he fits that picture nicely. He'll end up being a good forward and a good defender. A little too long for Hurley there. And Johnson just sits back and takes the defensive mark. Play on. Quickly around the corner, opportunity for Remus as the ball is taken away, but Silvani sure. gets back to Mark. He's got away with one there, yep. Michael Johnson. He's had a terrific year inside that back 50 for Fremantle. One of the leaders in the comp for gaining possession down there, but that was just a bit of a brain fade. Crowley, able to go on the wing. Pavlich presents in front of Hooker by about 10 metres. Here comes Broughton in front of his man. Kick needed to be lower. It gave Fletcher a chance. Broughton not able to recover it. He had Fletcher beaten on the lead. Yeah, he got up a little awkwardly, Dustin Fletcher. You can see he's got uh, just a tiny little limp up, but able to get up and run it out. Das, I think he's now got, as we just look at it, the jarring of the knee there from Fletcher. Oh, well, that's yes. got to hurt a bit. But he's now back playing on a smaller player. As you mentioned earlier, Das, much more comfortable. Means he can zone off and do what he likes. Good point, Lingy. Stanton out wide to Myers. There's David Hill, who's... Been OK, Das, on his return? Yeah, look, he's got hold of the footy a little bit. Just has been a touch off. What would you expect for a big player coming back? Hasn't played since round two, but his work rate's been impressive. Paddy Ryder. It's a very long kick. Cramery, really good with his potty. Gee, arrived just in the nick of time. On this occasion, did lower, I think it was. Little chip ball to DeBoer. De Boer's kick. They're living dangerously to Griffin. Yeah, they are. Essendon are really putting the ball in there, putting them under the pump, and they're, they're just holding up well here at the moment. The look at those inside 50s, Rich Owens. Well, time in forward half in this quarter would be interesting. At the moment, as the free kick is paid, it'll go the way of Fremantle. Silvani, I think it is. Yeah, they just can't quite get that run and flow that they had going forward this quarter, the Dockers. Silvani from the wing. Hocking, quick hands, Mzungu, panicked a little, Watson didn't when under pressure to Monfries, Cramery trying to protect the drop zone of the ball, Remus doing really well against Broughton, on the right boot, Remus back inside, did McPhee infringe, it doesn't matter, Jetta over the top, the advantage is paid, it'll be a certain Essendon goal, to Olio will kick his second goal of the quarter. Crowd not happy, some of them, but that crowd there are. Thought yeah. a free should have been paid. Yeah, McPhee gave away the free kick, and they're getting in his face a little bit. Hurley's going across Jetta. And now Pyatt, you can hear mic'd up saying, I'll pay a free kick. Well, it's those little guys. It's Jordan Bannister there. He didn't see it. Mate, I didn't see it. I've got to see it. Mate, I've got to see it. I didn't see it. Okay. I'm telling you, I didn't see it. So, Jenner questioning umpire Jordan Bannister there. Now, we'll have a look at the replay of that right now. And that is 
I agree with Jetta there. That is one that should have gone his way. Yeah, it certainly should have. He was right on the scene, Jordan Bannister. He said he didn't see it, so... Jump a punch. obviously believe what he said. There was a good jumper punch in there. Yeah, absolutely to the face, and I agree totally with Leroy Jetta there. We know Leroy Jetta's on notice, too, because he's had a couple of staging yep. incidents, and certainly not on that occasion. That was a genuine fist to you, the face. You boys have all heard the story of the boy who cried wolf. Yes. That's what happens. Ah, no, Lingy. <laughs> nice Very work. Nice. Look at this, the link up through the middle. De Boer with a really good tackle to just shorten them up. Mazungu's got to beat about four of them. Look at the numbers for Essendon here at the moment. Jetta drawing handball wide to Hardingham. Over the top to Melksham. Melksham will be run downhill most by Crichton, not before he got it to Monfries. They'll play on here. No, they won't. Yeah, it's downfield. It'll it's come downfield back to Angus. Melksham. Monfries will get the free. Crowd joining in. The emotion of this game is terrific. The Bombers are putting them under a lot of pressure at the moment. They're holding up. This inside 50 is really important. They've had plenty of time to get back and set up a good structure. Hill's gone forward there. Monfries to the pocket. Here comes Cramer. He's got good hands overhead. Mundy did well not to infringe. Here's McPhee. Pretty horrible foot disposal. Picked up by Stan, and that was deliberate. Paddy's got to be strong. Did well over the top, did lower. Really well. Ball kicked out in front of Broughton. Broughton will gather possession. He's got Fletcher to beat, he's away. That's a deliberate professional free from Fletcher. He knew that he was the last man in line. Yeah, you're spot on. That was experience. Chris Main was running down this side of the ground closest to the commentary box here. And if Broughton had have got possession, he would have taken an easy mark inside 50. Fletcher knew that. Gave away that free kick. Great play by Dustin Fletcher. Paul Long, rider, Athletic. You know, I reckon Fletcher was smart enough to do as well. He knew he was going to get the benefit of the doubt to kick the footy away. And that gained another oh, 10 seconds for the defenders to come back. And it's saved a really good goal-scoring opportunity for the Dockers. As Remus. And his return to this Bombers outfit. Last played in round three. Kick over the head, Cramery and Johnson tangle up there. Got rid of Johnson, was there a hand in the back? And by said no, Hill got around one, shifted off the handball to the left footed Heppel. Heppel bends, needs a good bounce, won't get it this time. Minus score. Stanton's up to 12 possessions now, equal highest for the Bombers. His work rate, he's pretty hard to tag also because he's got such great aerobic ability. Bombers by 14. Remember, they have lost the last six games that they have played at this venue, and they have won only two of their last 16. Fremantle, we know, led by five points at quarter time. They have not won both the first and second quarter this year, and it looks as though that trend is going to continue. Gee, it's unbelievable. Neil to the Magnet Barlow, main in front of Hardingham. He'll be playing in front of his... Parents here, Dad's a bus builder. Toot. In case you didn't know, here in Western Australia. Is there any connection with you there, BT? At Not all? really, just... Uh, just taking an interest in it. No, uh, my town's coaching up, I think he's originally from. Here is Crichton with that mullet. Forward over the back, Broughton. Got caught and was it a little high. There's my man, Crozier. Kick out of there, and I think it's good for Maine. has kicked his third goal of the game. Well, they're not going to go away, the Dockers. Essendon have probably had the better, or they have had the better at this second quarter, but they've hung tough for Emmanuel. He's been really good, Chris May, and that's his third goal. And some of his work to get back and help his defenders and then push forward. His work rate's been fantastic. He's coming off the ground now. Deserves that break. He's working really hard. Don't underestimate the high degree of difficulty. There's Crozier to actually fend off and be falling backwards and to get the footy going in the direction you want with the goal. That was a brilliant effort there from Mundy, who's kicked his third. Don't underestimate the cheese grater, Hayden Crozier there. Abs tougher than any other in the comp uh, with that slick handball either, Das. 
I like him, BT. I he's your he's man, a, a but man, I'd like to jump on board. I believe he's a man that needs some loving as well. He's a short of a love interest, is a young man, Crozier. Possibly not after a, tonight. They say he's got a few years to go. Before he worries about that, just concentrate on the footy would be my suggestion. He's Johnson. Just the transfer of ball to the fat side of the ground. I like the look of the Tassie boy, Crichton too, BT. Well, yes. You are a Tasmanian, of course, Richo. From northeast Tasmania, not far out of Launceston, and pretty tough part of uh, Australia there. Well, you're from up that way, we know, Richo. And dress sense is not a priority there. <laughs> Ibbotson, hairstyles, dress sense, anything that's got 40 years on it is good there. Marching through Hibbard. Mines with a long one, so just dropped off in intensity just the last couple of minutes this game. There is Crichton, got it to Clancy, Pierce, to ball caught. Clark now under bomber pressure, got around a couple. Crichton, kick inside 50, danger for the bombers. Howlett did well, the give and go. Can they break through? Cramery in the middle, McFarlane did well not to infringe. Game 200 for Luke McFarlane has been a fantastic player. Look at Clancy Pierce in the white shorts out there. Big, isn't it? Little right foot kick is great. Mark taken by Pavlich. Started well, Pav. Just faded out in the last few minutes, but he looks in really good nick. Broughton just pushed off the ball. Now Fletcher's on all fours. Myers under enormous pressure. Great smother by... Pavlich. Yeah, Pavlich couldn't go long then inside 50. He had to try and find a leading target because Paddy Ryder had pushed back and was the last man in line. So good work by Ryder. Got back there and filled up the space for Essendon. Well, here at halftime, the inner thoughts of Ross Lyon on his superstar, Matthew Pavlich. Stay with us for that. He's brought him who's been playing up forward tonight. So a collective... Six-goal haul in this second quarter as against the 11 in the first quarter collectively. Howlett out of the stoppage. Subin dropped the mark. He really should have taken. Myers has had 11 touches in this quarter. Here's Cramery through the middle. No one between him and the goal. He can go all the way. He's taken McFarlane on. Look at that. Amazing stuff. He said, I'm faster and more than you'll ever be and he took him on talk about cheeky what an unbelievable effort that was BT Luke McFarlane who's one of the better athletes playing the game he was a junior 400 meter champion and Stewie Cramery has taken a look over the shoulder taken three bounces and run away from that's one of the better athletic uh, feats we've seen this year and Luke McFarlane can't believe it yeah he is really quick Luke McFarlane played on him a, a little bit and he was very hard to get away from on the lead but Cremery and to run and be able to bounce the ball like that and, and still it, sort of not he just knew that the bounce had to be right yeah. if the bounce slowed him up one half a step he was gone wasn't he so yeah. the bounce had to be perfect and not slow him at all and how sad he's gone the right hand bounce to the left yeah. hand bounce that's a great example of how skilled the modern players are we have just seen an unbelievable play from Cramery to kick his second goal. Bombers by 14. Under a minute remaining in the half. Gee, they're red hot on that play on this weekend. Some good news for the Bombers too. In all eight games they've won, they've led at half time. And then they'll go in here the ball, in the West the with the lead. There's Clancy Pierce. White shorts, not his favourite, Dars. Clancy. Well, while we're on the stats, Dars, they haven't lost a game if they've scored 100 points, so... They're well on the way, well over halfway there. Nepal in front with the hand. Watson did well through traffic to Hawking. Still time here for the Bombers. Pick up by Stamp was good. I reckon that was a throw, but the umpire was caught behind. Couldn't see it, fair enough. Howlett now to Mize as they just steady it up with under a quarter of a minute remaining. What's Clancy's aversion to the white shorts, Brian? Not, not just flattering the, for a chunkier sort of unit? Just ample in the backside, Das. <laughs> Clancy Pierce. Siren sounds to end the half. Who am I to speak, you would say to us? I know, Richard. My next call that was coming. You're looking at me like that. 
This is a fantastic game of football here. I've got the feeling this one's going all the way to the end. Half-time scores. Bombers by 14. 10-4-64 to Frio. 8-2-50. Cracking half of football. Plenty more to come on the other side of the break.